Today I'm going to share with you facts about Denmark that you may not have known. Stay tuned. Welcome back. If you're new to my channel, my name is Kelly and I'm an American living in Denmark. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please consider doing that now and ring the bell to get notifications whenever I post new videos. Now today I thought I would share with you some facts about Denmark that you may not have known. I grew up in the US and we never really talked about Denmark as a country. There are so many countries out there in the world that we didn't talk about all of them. And I'm sure if you grew up in Denmark, there'd be plenty of places throughout the world that you just didn't learn about. But I live in Denmark and I think it would be great if you knew a little bit more about it. Maybe you're Danish and you know all of my list and maybe you don't. You'll have to let me know at the end of the video in the comment section. Let's go ahead and get started. Number one, Denmark has the oldest flag and it has been around since the 1200s, though it's not been officially recognized as their official flag until the 1600s, but it's still quite a long time to have your own flag. And it actually has its own name called Denebro. Here is a picture of it. It is red with white stripe, just in case you didn't know. Number two, Denmark has over 400 islands. Denmark is actually a peninsula for the main part, but the top part of the peninsula is actually an island, and it's one of the largest islands. People don't realize that there is an inlet of water that completely cuts off the top part of Denmark. And then, of course, we have some bigger islands. If you look at the whole region of Denmark, there's a peninsula and islands, but there are so many smaller islands that make up Denmark. Not all of the islands, however, are inhabited, but it's very interesting to know that it has so many islands. Number three, Denmark is the home to Hans Christian Andersen. Hans Christian Andersen is actually one of their most famous writers in Denmark, and he lived during the 1800s. He wrote stories that you probably know very well, like The Little Mermaid, The Ugly Duckling, and The Princess and the Pea, just to name a few. There are festivals during the summer, there are statues, and the town of Olenza is actually his hometown. So you'll see much more when you go and visit that town. Number four, Denmark is the most digital country in the world. And that means that they use a lot of technology in their infrastructure to communicate. So if you go to the doctor in the northern part of Denmark, and then you go to a hospital in Copenhagen, they'll be able to connect to your medical records. That's one thing that's really nice about Denmark. You don't have to sit and fill out tons of paperwork every time you go to a new place, or let's say you're on vacation and you run into an accident and you go into a local hospital that you're not familiar with. It's so nice that they have technology that connects them to so many different things. They also have more of their citizens using the internet than most other countries. Number five, Denmark is one of the most eco-friendly countries in the world. They do so much to reduce greenhouse gases and to prevent climate change. They're big into riding bikes and using wind power. A lot of what happens in Denmark with companies and regular citizens has to do with taking care of the environment. And Denmark is a very great place to be if you are environmentally conscious, which most of us should be. Number six, over 40% of Denmark's power comes from wind. They actually have the highest proportion of wind power in the entire world. A lot of times when you are driving around Denmark or even traveling by train, you'll see these huge windmills all over Denmark. Sometimes they're in farmland, sometimes they're on the coast, sometimes they're actually in the water. That is also one way that Denmark is just trying to do its best to promote clean energy. Number seven, Lego was invented in Denmark. And it was actually invented in 1832, but not used for the mass production of sales until much later on. It is also where Lego has its main headquarters, where you will find the original Legoland amusement park. And they also have other Lego inspired places in the same town of where Lego was invented. Number eight, Denmark is ruled by a prime minister and it's actually a lady prime minister. 
In 2011, Denmark elected its first female prime minister, and now in 2020, it has its second female prime minister. Women actually are very active in politics in Denmark. It's not uncommon to see a woman in a high political position in Denmark. Number nine. Yes, Denmark has a prime minister, but Denmark also has a queen. Queen Margrethe. She is a ruler of the monarchy of Denmark, and she has two sons, and her oldest son, Prince Frederick, will be the king one day. One interesting fact to know about Frederick is that he met his wife when he was traveling on Australia. So it's a little bit nice for us expats who come from an English-speaking background to have a little bit of support from our favorite Danish princess. Thanks for coming along in this short video to let you know a little bit about Denmark. Maybe some things that you didn't know. I hope you learned something new about Denmark. Is there anything that you'd like to add to this list? Go ahead and put it down in the comments. I hope to see you in another video. And as always, take care.